Hey everybody, today I wanted to do a Jessica Alba inspired look for you. It is the look that she wore the other night to the Kids Choice Awards from Nickelodeon. It's this kind of dewy, glowing kind of skin um, with a really fun teal eyeliner on top. Everything else is really simple really natural and, and wearable um, for a day-to-day -day look, um, yet it's still nice and glamorous enough for a night out. So if you want to um, wear some color on your eyes for spring or summer, because it's very, very in, um, this is a really great look for you to achieve that. So first I'm going to start off with my foundation. And since she has a really dewy, glowing kind of look to her skin, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. And my color is W1-2 Porcelain Slash Light Ivory. So I am going to take this and I'm going to apply it. Oh, my stuff's over here. Uh, with an expert face brush from Real Techniques. Okay, now that I've got my skin pretty evened out, I've got some left over. I'm going to just pat that under the eyes like concealer. And I'm not going to put any powder because this is a really dewy, glowy kind of look. Just smooth out my ring finger there. There we go. And now. I am going to do a little bit of contouring and for that I am going to use e.l.f. Um, it is a contouring blush and bronzing powder. It's this one here and blushed in bronze. I'm going to take this bronze shade and I'm going to use my angled blush brush from Crown. A little bit of that bronzer. And I kind of want like a bronzy flushed kind of look. So that's why instead of like a real sharp line, I'm kind of taking it more over the cheekbone. So I'm kind of using it a little bit like contour and a little bit like bronzer. Concentrating it down here to give myself a more contoured look, but pretty much using it just to give some color to my face. So now I'm going to use this blush by Clinique. It is in New Clover. This isn't the full size. It's a size that came with a gift with purchase. But I am going to take my Real Techniques stippling brush. Stippling, stipling, however you say it. And I'm going to give myself just a little bit of a flush. Right in the apples. Alright, so now that I've got my face on, I am going to move on to the brows. And for that, I am going to use an eyeshadow from MAC. And I'm just going to really softly fill them in. So I'm actually going to use this one here, even though my brows are kind of on the dark side. And this one is called Kid. I just want to give them a little bit of depth. I don't really want to shape them up. I don't really want to darken them up. Just a tiny little bit of filling in and then I can take a spoolie brush and I'm just going to fluff them out a little bit because she has nice full brows. So now I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Eyelid primer. It says sheer. I don't know if there's really different colors, but I'm just going to apply a little bit of that on my lid and smooth it out with my fingertip. Okay, so I have my eyebrows filled in. I have my eyelids primed. Now it's time to start with the eyeshadow. Now she has a pretty simple look to the lids. 
you can kind of see here, she doesn't really have much eyeshadow on. It's really about that fun colored liner. So I'm just going to take a matte eyeshadow. I'm going to take that kid color again. And this is on the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid, up to my crease. And see, it comes out, I don't necessarily quite look like it does here. It comes out a little darker, a little warmer. I got it thinking it was a nice, cool, light brown. And then the first time I used it, I was like, oh, well, this is actually a lot warmer. And I was expecting. And then I'm gonna wipe that brush off and use let's see one of my favorite colors here, Orb. It's a really nice light nude color. And I'm gonna apply that up to my brow bone. And I like this brush for this kind of look because it's just all over color really soft. Doesn't need really any definition. So it just buffs it onto the eye really, really nicely. And then I'm just going to highlight under the eye just a little bit. But I'm going to use Gesso. It's a nice matte white color. The brush I'm going to use for this is a Too Faced one from a kit. And I'm just going to kind of highlight just a little bit under the eye. And that's it. Just a little bit. Next is going to be our liner. And for that, I'm going to use a Steel Eyeliner. And it is the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the color is Peacock. So I'm going to take that. I love these liners because they glide on. So, so pigmented. Like gel in a stick form. Doesn't really need to be precise. Because we're really going to smudge it out here now. Now I'm going to take the accent brush from Real Techniques and we're going to smudge this color out. I'm going to give it a nice kind of thick but diffused smoky line. There we go. And same thing on this eye. Next. I'm going to do some liner on the bottom, and then I'm going to use another one of the Steel Smudge Stick ones. This one is in Starfish, and it's this, I don't know, it's kind of like a goldish black. It's definitely not black. Yet you can kind of see the flecks of gold in it. I don't know, it's kind of almost like a khaki, I don't know, it's an interesting color. I'm going to take that. And just do that along the bottom lash line. Alright, so now I'm going to take a little bit of Kid again and just slightly trace over that liner on the bottom. And there we go. We are done with that. So now it's time to curl lashes and do some mascara. Now she's obviously wearing some pretty heavy duty false lashes but I'm not going to put any on right now. I am actually just going to use some mascara. So it's not going to have that really full um, lash look but it's good enough for today. So I'm going to curl my lashes. Curl them once at the base and then again at the tip. And the mascara that I'm going to use is the Hypnos, the Lancome Hypnos Drama. All 
All right, and now that we have our mascara on, I am going to actually do just a little bit of fun teal glitter um, over the top. I know she doesn't really have any on, but I wanted to do something different and fun. So you could wear, you know, like this with just the regular teal liner on during the day. And then if you wanted to spice it up for a night out, a quick swipe of the glitter and it's instantly more fun. Now I'm going to do some lip color. So I'm going to take my gloss off and I am actually going to use this is a little mini one from a sampler that I got but it's lipstick by Bite Beauty and the color is called Musk. It's the Luminous Cream Lipstick. There we go. And some gloss. I'm going to use some gloss by Victoria's Secret. It's the shiny gloss. And the color is called Mocktail Hour. And this stuff smells divine. And I'm really just going to keep it in the center of my lids, to, our lips, to uh, give them a fuller look. And then just to top the look off, I'm going to use Stila all over shimmer liquid luminizer. It's a little trial sign because um, Jessica has a real glowing kind of look to her. So I'm just going to dot some of that on. Okay. And there we have it, the finished look. I hope you enjoy it. It's a fun um, flirty kind of look with the glitter. So it's great for a night out on the town with your man um, or your girlfriends or whoever you like to go out on the town with, even just yourself, you know, if you are one of those people who likes to go out on your own and see who you will meet. Uh, you can catch their eye with some flirty green glitter liner. And uh, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave me some comments below whether you like the look, hate the look, um, suggestions, comments, uh, new looks that you want to see, uh, whatever. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.